Big game this week, Coach. What's uh, preparations been like so far for you guys? Yeah, guys, been really focused. Um, you know, it's a short week. Um, it's that first practice. We took some of the pads off them, but uh, got a lot of good mental work. Uh, our guys are ready to go compete. Obviously, this is a, a big game for our program, and um, you know we're healthy and ready to roll. What do you see from South Florida that uh, really gives you a for I think all three phases they, they cause issues. Uh, offensively, they got explosive playmakers, um, and uh, you know we got to do a good job of controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, their special teams unit, kickoff uh, return units, punt return units. They got guys that are dynamic that can change, you know, the way the game's played there as well. And then defensively, they're fast, they're athletic, their front four create penetration on early downs and do a great job of creating negative plays. So, um, you know, there's there's tests in in all three phases for us. You got this year like Rashard Kazi, you know, senior, but this year he's making a lot more plays. Um, make a lot more big of an impact. What have you seen from Rashard? Uh, just a guy that, that's taking care of uh, or taking advantage of his opportunities. Uh, he's had a great workman's attitude since we got here in January. Had a lot of purpose. He is a guy that maybe spends as much time in our building watching film in preparation during the course of the week. I think that's a big reason of why he's anticipating what's going to happen. He recognizes formations uh, and he's you know, taking advantage of the opportunities and, and making plays. He got a game ball after the Cincinnati game specifically what did you see from the uh, Just uh, played tight coverage, you know what I mean? They, they tried to go at him a couple times down the middle of the football field, played really tight coverage, um, was disciplined while the ball in the air, was in the air, was, was patient, and, and uh, um, then did a good job in his run fits too. So just uh, uh, played a great game. What kind of a unique threat <clears throat> is a USF wide receiver Tyree McCants? He looks more like a linebacker than a wide receiver. Yeah, just uh, he's a unique body. Uh, they do a really good job of using him in multiple ways. Um, his frame, you know, poses an issue when he's uh, split out in, in a slot position. Uh, he's strong, but he runs well. Um, they use him vertically down the field, but when they use him on crossing routes, his ability to shield a defender is unique to his body type. How's the focus been this week? I mean, you talked about being a short week. You got a holiday, obviously, and you guys are going to have a little time with family, I'm sure. But how's it been this week uh, going into this game? Yeah, um, it is a unique week, rivalry game, uh, short week. I think our kids have handled, you know, those two things well up until this point. Um, you know, the uniqueness of playing on Thanksgiving, you want to play in a program where you're playing a big game on, on Thanksgiving weekend. You know, you grow up watching that as a kid uh, after you get done eating turkey dinner, you know, and, and uh, you want to play in those games. So I think our kids are looking forward to that opportunity. You know, we'll have an opportunity to, to share a Thanksgiving meal with our players and, and some of their families. And, uh, and then we'll travel over to Tampa and get ready to go play a game. Was there, was there a feel today in practice of uh, accomplishment, satisfaction on what happened last night and being the first to do it? Last night. The, with, with, being last night. with being number nine and being the first non-Power 5 to be ranked that high, I mean, was, was there something in practice today that... Uh, there's no sense of accomplishment in that. Uh, our kids are worried about going playing a football game. Was there any different this week in practice? You guys are playing a rival maybe, maybe a little bit more intense? Or is it just regular? Our, our kids are focused. You know, I, for me personally, I said this a week ago too, if there's a huge difference in the way our kids prepare, then you know, we're setting ourselves up for failure a lot during the course of the, se se uh, during the season. Um, you know, we have a process that we go, go through to get prepared to go play. Uh, our kids' attentiveness uh, is important every single week. But certainly this week our kids have, have been dialed into to what we're asking them to do. Charlie Strong said um, on Monday that when he looks at UCF, he sees a team that doesn't believe it, it's going to lose. What do you see from the belief uh, from your team and belief in each other? I, I, I see our football team mature as far as the way that they're competing. Um, no matter what situation, they keep playing it like it's 0-0 first play of the game. Be aggressive, attack. Um, and, and believe in the guy next to you. Personally, are you personally are you excited to see what this UCF USF rivalry? Absolutely, is uh, I, I think just you know since I've gotten here, our fan base obviously has talked about this game, had a chance to to see it once or twice just through the years. Um, but uh, uh, I think it's always your first time in that game uh, is unique, and, and uh, looking forward to seeing the atmosphere. Charlie Strong said the other day he was a little bit concerned that UCF fans, you know, may take over the stadium. Uh, obviously, the big stadium, a lot of seats available. How much would you like to see a lot of UCF fans? Uh, you know, we want to see that. We want to see that place packed in, in black and gold. Uh, expect our, our fans to show up in, in a great number and uh, provide a great uh, environment in that.
in that stadium. All right, last what, one. What, um, just a couple Thanksgiving questions. Just a, what are you thankful for, and what is the team doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, I'm thankful that I get a chance to work with uh, these kids every single day. Um, the best part of my day every day is getting a chance to go into meetings and, and be out on the practice field with them, engaging with them when they come back in, in the afternoon. Uh, I'm thankful. F thankful for the way the entire team's bought into to the process that uh, we're trying to go through and trying to build here. The program we're trying to build. Uh, thankful for my family as well. All right. And, and are you guys having a tomorrow a dinner? Yeah. Tomorrow team yeah. dinner. We uh, yeah. There's a team uh, team lunch. At, you know, I mean after after practice and and uh, we'll have a bunch of families in here as well. All right, coach. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.